We are talking about, you have another chance to recite the memory verse. We are talking about blessings from God. What is a blessing? Does anyone know what a blessing is? Something's a blessing? Do you know, Timothy? What's a blessing? No, I no, no, excuse me. Go sit down. Where are you going? Good girl. <laughs> Sorry? Yeah, when somebody helps you, it can be a blessing. So a blessing is when you want to do something nice for somebody else. So maybe you give them something or you help them do something. You, know, you take care of them. That's when you're a blessing to somebody else. You're doing something good. What's the opposite of blessing? Who knows the opposite of a blessing? What's the opposite word? It starts with a C. Simon. A curse. A curse. All right, so a curse is either when you wish something bad on somebody or you do something bad to them to evil on them. So there's different ways you can curse people, aren't you? Even if you say something nasty to them. But today, we are talking about blessings from God. So let's talk about a few blessings from God. Oh, what do you think I've got this picture for? What's a one blessing from God when we think about blessings? Sometimes when we think about blessings, we're only thinking about toys, candy, money, Hey, these are not the most valuable blessings that God has given you. you know, even though we get some of those things, sometimes those things can replace God. But what's something God gives us that's a blessing? What do you think? Here. Mateo. A baby. <laughs> we can have a ba well, what I'm trying to represent with the baby here, right? Well, you can think of that God gives us blessing of siblings. But I'm talking about your own life, your own birth. When you were born, one day you were a baby. You were born, God gave you life. You know, when you were conceived in your mummy and daddy's womb. So that's one thing God gives us. You know, like if you didn't have this blessing, you wouldn't really be able to enjoy all the other blessings, could you? If you didn't have life, if you weren't alive. Does that make sense? So one blessing sometimes we take for granted from God is the fact that we're even alive to begin with, that we are able to breathe, we have life. Isn't that a blessing? Who's happy to be alive? Good. Some people are not happy to be alive. <laughs> okay, next one. Another blessing. Who knows this one? Sarah. He died on the cross for our sins. And what does he give us by dying on the cross for our sins? What do we get? Freedom. Yes, freedom. But how? Eternal life. Salvation is a blessing from God. Yeah, freedom from the bondage of sin. Definitely. So, that's another blessing that Jesus died on the cross for our sins and through his death, burial, and resurrection we are able to get salvation. We're saved. Eternal life. What's another blessing? What's another blessing we have from God? Do you want to have a go at this one? Abel? The Bible. The Bible is the Word of God. Do you know today we can just look up the Word of God on our phones, on your iPad, on the internet. But you know back, you know, hundreds and hundreds of years ago, you know, by candles, they had to like search the actual paper. Yeah, so you, we take it for granted sometimes that we have God's Word just in one book. That's a blessing to us that God has preserved his word and we're able to read his Bible today, read his word today. So that's another blessing. What's another one? <laughs> Timothy, what do you think this picture's about? Food. You have something to eat. Did everyone get something to eat this morning? Yeah? Everyone had some breakfast? Isn't that a blessing? You don't have to go hungry. You know, there are a lot of people in the world, they don't know where their next meal is going to come from. They don't always have something to eat. They're always hungry. But, thank God, we always have something to eat, right? And that's a blessing from God. That's something God does for us. Is that right, Simon? Yeah. Yes, do you want... We drank off milk. Off oh, milk, oh, no. <laughs> oh, that would have been a little bit sour. Hey, still got to give thanks for having some food. All right, what's the next blessing? What do you think I've got here for this picture? Who knows? Mateo. Clothing. So we've got to be thankful to God for how he blesses us. He gives us something. Who's, who likes the fact that they've got clothing on this morning? 
I'm sure when you go home, you've got lots of clothes to choose from. You know, we're blessed by God. Some people don't always have as many clothes. You know? So we've got to be thankful. As we talk about the Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord blesses us in many ways. We have clothing. What about this? What do you think this one is about? Yeah, we've got a nice bed to sleep in. You know, isn't it nice that we have somewhere to stay? We've got shelter. And I think you guys all, I think everyone here slept on a nice, comfortable bed. You know, but we forget, hey, God is blessing us with these things. He's given us a lot of things in our life through the people in our life. So, what about this one? Sometimes when we think about blessings, Noah, where are you going? Oh, you want to take it? Sometimes when we think about blessings, we only think about the things we get in our life. Food, clothing, and our shelter. What about this one? What do you think this represents? Shoes. shoes. Well, that's close. People use shoes when they do this. Simon? That we can walk. That we can walk. Imagine if you had nice clothing, but you didn't have the ability to walk. Not everyone has the ability to walk. Did you know that? So this is a blessing that God gives to people. Unfortunately, some people have medical conditions. But the ability to walk is a blessing from God. What about this? What if you had nice clothing but you didn't have this? What do you think, Fiona? Your eyes. Right, what do you do with your eyes? Sarah? You look, you see. So this is something we take for granted, don't we? The fact that we can see. The fact that you can see me up here. Right? <laughs> but imagine if you couldn't see then you'll realize how precious this blessing is from God right, when you can't see. Oops, one more. One more, Timothy. Yeah. And you can hear. So sometimes we think about only the material things, but we need to remember that God has blessed us with the ability to walk. He's blessed us with the ability to see. He's given us the ability to hear. And these are things that sometimes people take for granted. But we need to remember who gave them to us. Who gave them to us? Who gave them to us? Jesus. Jesus. God has blessed us with these things. So, let's go back to our memory verse. We'll read it together. And then we'll see if a few of you can say it. Ready? Numbers chapter 6, verse 24. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The. Okay, so let's see who can remember it. Who wants to have a go? Mateo. Yeah. 